should have kept a secret. Please don't keep no secret. Welcome everyone. Let's talk about Legendao. So Legendao is a project on the Secret Network and it is an NFT project. I am not an NFT fan. I think NFTs are kind of stupid, but there are a subset of people that enjoy NFTs. So I like to see what's going on within the network. During the whole, during the beginning to the end of the bull run, I maybe purchased one or two NFTs just for curiosity purposes, but I'm not really an NFT type of person. Uh, but there is a community out there for them. But what I think is interesting is that, you know, NFTs are public on Ethereum and various other blockchains, but you can make them private on secret networks. So you can hide some metadata. You can encrypt some, some message within your NFT. You can do various different things. You can have the artwork completely obfuscated and then as soon as you purchase the nft everything becomes clear so there are a lot of use cases for nft lovers within secret network i still don't really see the point but it is what it is but that's not really what i wanted to talk about legend Dow was a project that started during the bull run the last bull run for secret network and it is an nft based project i believe it's sponsored by secret labs or they have a hand in dealing with it or they're funding it and what I thought was interesting is I purchased one NFT from 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 that project, the Legend Dial project. So they released something called like the Council of Guild. So it's some sort of action figure that's uh, represented through an NFT. I purchased one just for curiosity purchases purposes. I actually purchased a couple because I had two different wallets. So I purchased a couple of those NFTs because they were supposed to unlock higher staking rewards uh, into the future. So Legend Dow is going to be releasing their own private token. I don't know how it's going to be airdropped. I don't know if it's four secret holders that were holding back then, or they're gonna have a new airdrop now. I haven't really kept up. But what I thought was interesting was that today they released a Medium article, and I'll link it below, and it was talking about the tokenomics for that Legend Dow token. So, I will be receiving some, I don't know, through either through airdrop or maybe I'll purchase some. But there's going to be a staking mechanism that is directly correlated to the Council of Guild NFT that you're holding. So for example, if you are holding a character that has a ranking, a very high ranking, a top 10 or top 100 NFT, you'll receive higher staking rewards than someone that has maybe a top 1000 NFT. So it becomes very interesting because they're gamifying staking. And I think that couple this with privacy, not knowing who owns each Council of Guild NFT, it makes for a fun marketplace kind of exchange token game. And it kind of reminds me of like the McDonald's game back in the day where you're collecting properties or you're collecting properties to... To, to fill up your board to win certain prizes and some people have certain pieces that you need and other people don't and you buy and sell and trade and try to get more property on that board in order to unlock more prizes and I think that this is kind of what's going on or what will go on I'm not I'm not sure if they do this with other blockchain NFT projects but on secret network we're also private so you don't know who's holding so you can really try and go and see exactly what piece you need or what council of guild nft is going to unlock this certain feature i mean it's very interesting to see that this one may unlock 2x staking rewards while this one is only half the amount of staking rewards depending on ranking so you may need to buy your nft buy another nft solely for the purpose of increasing staking rewards and not so much that you're necessarily even interested in the NFT lore, but you're just interested in maximizing your rewards. So you have people that are interested in the art, interested in collecting, while at the same time you have people that are interested in maximizing their returns on their token. So this is going to be another token that I'm probably going to be staking and uh, yeah, staking and forgetting it. And uh, we'll see if I need to purchase another NFT in order to maximize my returns. I'll do some sort of return on investment calculation. But uh, I do have one. So let's see what's going on. And I'm going to keep you updated. And I'll let you know exactly what my character unlocks and what percentages it unlocks. And uh, 
yeah, until the next video, are you interested in the Legendal NFT project? And will you be staking your Legendal token? I'm not sure what it's called yet, but I think it's LGND. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.